like to tell you a story, Elizabeth. Hachi is a T1 international friend. So you asked me to send you a bunch of photos of dogs. The best I can do is little Hachi here. Hachi, say hi to Elizabeth. Can I have a kiss? Can you shake? Good boy. But we are all here to celebrate you. And we're so blessed to have you in our lives. Oh gosh, he's insane. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you next week. And can't wait to have a reunion. And you matter. Hi, dear Elizabeth. I just wanted to make this video to tell you that you have all my support, love and care from here from Costa Rica. You are one of the persons that I admire the most in this world. You are passionate for helping others. You are passionate for giving your time and effort to make other people's life better. And that's one of the most admiring things I've seen. You deserve all the support, all the love and you deserve a great life. And I know that anything is, is impossible. I would be praying for you a lot as I really believe this has power. So count with me with, uh, count with, me with all the prayers and, and all the, the positive vibes from here. I know you can do this. I know you are strong. I know that this would be difficult, but I know that you will be good in the future. So I send you a big hug from here. Keep positive. Every time that you wake up, say to yourself that you're gonna be okay, that you're gonna be healed, that you're gonna pass through this. And I know that everything would be okay. A big hug from here. Bye. Hi, Liz. This is Fran Quigley, and I just want to thank you for being such an inspiring example to all of us uh, in your persistence with your advocacy and your patience with your advocacy and in the compassion you show in pushing for insulin for all. You know, I am convinced. I'm convinced that you and your colleagues are going to win insulin for all, and I'm convinced that your example and the momentum you are building are going to help the rest of us in this world achieve health care for all. That is big stuff and you are really such an inspiring part and inspiring leader of all of us who are trying to achieve health justice. You have fans all around the world and please let me be included in that list of those who appreciate you. Thank you for all you do. Hi Elizabeth. I just want to tell you that I love you so much. I know you've been going through a lot lately, but even though that's the case, your focus is always on helping other people. And that makes all of us so beyond proud of everything that you do uh, to help other people, to constantly be working towards your goals, to never lose sight of what's most important to you. And that is so inspirational to all of us, to your family and friends, to everyone else in your, in your network of people that are around the world who look to you for inspiration and leadership. Um, we're so proud of you. Um, I tell people all the time that you're my hero. I know that sounds cheesy, but I mean it because you're the person that's most inspirational to me. And um, even though you're going through a lot right now, we're so proud of you. We love you so much. This you, she's queen. A global perspective, her objective is to help people. Irrespective, their location, for the duration. No vacation, with the dedication, at a workstation. Talking to nation, patience, with the grace and patience. She 
don't want credit, so don't discredit Or be a hater, try to be later We'll fail to make her greater It's me So pretty It's me So take a seat and bear witness To her fearless realness But you can't repeat this She's one of a kind, so can she cut other people on the mind? And you'll find she'll leave no one behind. She strives for equality, equality, making societies a vacancy. Their responsibility to help each other achieve and smooth life free. Or maybe she's brought in a ukulele, writes up daily. Lady. It's here. So pretty. Hi Liz, just wanted to send you all of my love and support for, for this challenge that you've got coming up. I see it as a challenge because I honestly believe that's all that it's going to be. It has to be just a speed bump in the journey because you're stronger than this and you, you're going to go flying through it. And, and we'll be looking back on it saying, you know, it was just something that made you stronger. I wanted to say a massive, massive thank you um, for all of the support you provide me and the inspiration that you provide the diabetes community across the globe and all of the work that you do with Tier 1 International is absolutely unbelievable. Um, it provides just so much support for people all across the globe um, in difficult and challenging situations. Uh, without you, there would be, you know, this world wouldn't be the place that it is. So thank you. Um, and I'm just sending you all my love and prayers at this time. Elizabeth is, Elizabeth is a wonderful person. I've met Elizabeth. Um, about five years ago and ever since then um, I've seen her to be a very hardworking, passionate, loving, caring and um, somebody who I know is determined to make a positive change in her environment. She inspires me a lot and um, I cannot mention how much of an inspiration she is to me enough she's somebody i i i, I see and i draw strength from in my own little way um i remember the time she sent me an email and um, that, that was the first time we had an encounter and ever since then she has transited from being a partner to a family to me i really love you and i want you to know that my thoughts and prayers are always with you keep up what you're doing and um I'm sure that the stars is just your starting point. Um, remain great um, and all the best in all your endeavors. Um, we love you, Elizabeth, and we always will love you. Hey, Elizabeth, hope you're doing well. Recovering in a hasty and full recovery process. Just wanted to mention that when I met you in 2013 in Melbourne, I didn't understand that there are actually people who have limited access to insulin and that would cause their life in stake. So uh, when I met you I learned a lot about this issue and the crisis that people are facing in third world countries uh, and why I love Elizabeth Rowley because she's one of the most dedicated people I've met in my life and one, one of the most sharp people who are working for the cause of diabetes as well as um, how to do things the right way and the most ethical way. So thank you so much for being part of my life and being in my life. Uh, wishing you all the best and you're gonna be in my prayers definitely. Hi Liz. Hey. Liz, we just wanna let you know how so very important you are to us, to the type one community and to really the world. You've done so much and we value you so much. And as you go through um, what you're going through right now, the past few weeks I know have been tough. We just wanted to let you know that uh, SNF is thankful for you and I am thankful for you um, as a colleague and friend and only wish you the very best. Yes, and uh, wish you a speedy recovery and a bunch of hugs and prayers. Take care. Bye. This is Mamana from Diabetes UK. Just to say, have a speedy recovery. Thank you so much for your amazing work that you're doing for young people with diabetes across the world. Thank you so much for heading to Ghana, joining Sonia and Abita Foundation to help the young ones with advocacy and diabetes. Get well soon. We're praying for you. Go, Lizzie! 
Hi Liz, how are you? We are having a pajama party party in Paris. And we hope that for the next one we will be active. And we wanted to tell that uh, we think about you. We miss you. And we love you. And you're the the greatest girl ever. And you've done a lot for the community. Darkness is what the world would have been like had it not been for. Her name is Edie. She has diabetes. She don't take barber cash because they so greedy. She makes butter almond cod, drinks coffee at the pod, does real push-ups with her strong upper pod. In the days of yore, a Hagrid Dumbledore. But you know why, why she likes him more. Because the wiener dog is her favorite pet to hog. I feel pressure right now is her improv dialogue. She truly feels at ease amongst the big trees. Train a T1 advocates across the seven seas. When Perry ate a bird, Katoon seemed so absurd. But Evie never doubted she's a big away nerd. Her favorite food is peacorn, blasted on a horn. Her allegiance to the crown is about to be sworn. Found atrocious means sicky. She likes her own pal chicky. Scattergory's words sometimes can be tricky. The thyroid news was a big whopper, but cancer won't stop her. The UK has healthcare that the US don't offer. She can drop it on cue. The Sanderson's big brew. Her homie Margaret Atwood made her dreams come true. Unlike Mary Kate and Ash, she's got a sense of fash. When it's snowing in Brazil, you look like trash. She wants to help others. Don't you wanna? Our cousin Edie is our prima, but she ain't a prima donna. Word to your mother. Okay, money. Peace out. Hi Elizabeth, this is Mama from Diabetes UK. On behalf of all of us from Diabetes UK, I'd like to say thank you so much for the amazing work you're doing for young people living with diabetes across the, the world. Thank you so much for joining Sonia and Abita Foundation to help train young people with advocacy in Ghana in August. Thank you so much and take good care of yourself. We are in full support of you. Go Lizzie! Hey Elizabeth. Hi. Hope you're doing better. Get you're, some rest. You're the best. Why right. do you love Elizabeth? <laughs> it's gonna make me blush. Oh gosh. I love Elizabeth. You, I assume you're watching this video, this tribute. Uh, I really love you because you've given me so much inspiration for what what one person can do and how one person can bring so many people together and make a change in something that means so much to not just my life, but millions of people's lives. That's something that's really, really inspired me. And it's given me a whole new outlook on my life, what I'm doing in my career and with my time. And it's, it's, been, it's been really, really great. So the next question about, you know, how my life has been impacted by you. Well, since meeting you, I've been to three rallies here in Indianapolis, uh, going to Eli Lilly, uh, engaging my voice and, and my time in something that means so much to me. Um, you've reached out to me so many times asking me how I'm doing and being able to feel that amount of empathy and compassion for someone else that has type 1 diabetes all of that is is something that i just have never been able to experience in my whole life and so since meeting you meeting being able to meet all of these other people who have the same um, life with diabetes it's it's uh, something i could have never imagined before so it's, it's been such a blessing in my life to meet you, meet Fran, and meet all the wonderful, wonderful people in the diabetes community and feel, and, and, and it, it's given me the opportunity to do things that I, I feel like when I look back on my life, I can say, ah, I did something good. So you've given me the opportunity to do good in the world. And that's something that I think is a gift that not many people can give. And for that, I'm extremely grateful. And hopefully this warms your heart and <laughs> brings a smile to your face. So 
Thanks, Elizabeth, for all the hard work you've put in for coming here. It was so great to see you. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep at it, keep fighting. We'll, I mean, it's something's got to change. I think we're, we're, we're on the right side here. So uh, I hope that you gain great strength and that you, we can continue to support you and all the hard work you're doing. And we'll keep it up. So thank you, thank you. And love you. Hi Elizabeth, uh, this is just a short video to just tell you how awesome you are and whatever challenges life has given you, you've been super strong all these years and I'm sure you will fight this and uh, it's, it's just to tell you that uh, this is just a phase and it will go, you just gotta just show your smile and fight it and you've been doing really well all this while you're the most inspiring person i have met and because of you i was able to get out of my zone of uh, accepting diabetes and overcoming the challenges i just want to say don't give up you're the most awesome most pretty beautiful person amazing soul and just hang in there we will fight back and um, we're gonna be meeting really soon bye Hey Liz, Angela here. Just want to say thank you so much for everything that you have done to support me and everyone at KOI Insulin for All. You are doing so much amazing work across the planet and I just want to say thank you. And because my cats don't get to spend nearly as much time with me as they used to because I do all of this work, Murray even says thank you. <laughs> and one day we'll be able to return to our lives and hang out with our cats and watch TV and have lives. But until then, thank you so much for all that you do. Love you. Bye. Um, Elizabeth, you are inspiring. You are um, just a really great example of just a human being in general. You've empowered me. You've empowered a multitude of people. Um, I look up to you and I feel really lucky to call you a friend. Hi my dear Elizabeth, how are you? I hope you're doing amazing. I just wanted to send you this message to let you know how awesome you are, how much of an inspiration you are to me because every single time I get to think of you, I get to understand how your passion, how your hard work and your determination goes across any frontier in the world. That's how awesome you are. I wanted to let you know you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers every day, and that I'm wishing you the best recuperation in the whole entire world. I can't wait to see you again so that you can rap for me <laughs> and we can go after Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. <laughs> so I hope you just take good care of yourself, you rest a lot, and then just feel better every single day. I wanted to send you all my love from Costa Rica and let you know you're in my heart. So take care, gorgeous. You're gonna be great. Lots of love, Daddy. Bye. Hello. I'm glad today I got this opportunity to say few words for Elizabeth Roy. I think I love her because she is so simple, so humble and remain cheerful all the time despite of any hard situation, any hard time. So she is a true brave lady and in fact I can say that she is one of the strongest people I know across the world. I feel I am so lucky she is in my circle and uh, whenever I think about insulin for all campaign she just pop up in my mind and I simply smile. She has inspired me a lot and I have learned the true meanings of being human from Elizabeth because whatever she is doing right now that is not for her. She is doing that for the humanity, for any person with diabetes who need insulin to live. Despite of gender, age, country or religion. And that is a big thing to me. I wish we could have hundreds of Elizabeth Roy. And uh, I wish her success. My prayers are always with her. And I'm sure 
she will be successful one day and uh, I wish her best of luck. Hi Elizabeth. So I promised you I would send you some photos of dogs. Uh, Hachi! Hachi! Do you want to talk to Elizabeth? Do you want to talk to Elizabeth? Hachi? Hachi, what do you think? There doesn't seem to be a, a strong response, um, but I just wanted to tell you I love you so much and um, all of us around the world, literally so many people care for you um, and admire all the work that you do, um, not just like, and so incredibly selfless. Um, I know I'm going to see you soon and I'm actually doing this little project very secretly. Um, but I can't believe I'm going to be lying to your face knowing I'm going to be sending this later, but it's going to be awesome.